what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel i am gago peters and uh we are with a young south sudanese artist who can is it rap no no dance hall dance <laughs> <laughs> who can do real dance hall and we are going to get to know him as a person as an artist and also as human so introduce yourself yeah yeah what's up people it's kind of crazy Dan type straight up i'm here with the beautiful girl hi melanin popping hey, hey. yeah <laughs> Hope you will enjoy. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, uh, Chris, we are going to start. Like, you have to tell us your home name because we already know as by your stage name. Okay. I'm Gewa Yola Robek. Wow. I repeat. Okay, Gyo. Gyo. We are going to go with Gyo for now. Huh? Not Gyo. 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 Uh, Gyo. I have to pronounce when, it well. Man. When did you start music? Like, when did you realize you had the passion to sing? Like uh, when I began recording or like when I started feeling like I have feeling to feeling like you can actually write and sing. Yeah, way back man. Like maybe when I was let's say like thirteen years. Wow. Yeah. That was really young. So Nini Wale when you come and kitabu. Yeah. I first wrote a uh, rap, mm -hmm. you know, back in class five. Mm -hmm. Then I was shy at that time. So there was some girl who used to sit behind me. She was trying to look at what I'm writing. I close it and I no no she was just sitting was just behind me. Behind. Yeah yeah. Okay. So she was curious to know what I have been writing or stuff like that. Because when you're writing sometimes you're singing, eh? you, know, you have to make a, some sound and mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. Do you know the lyrics to that song? I don't. Ah where are you? Uh, for sure. You don't remember the lyrics? I, I don't remember. Huh? At all, at all. Okay, so why don't you just do us a free shot? Free shot of yeah. N? Freestyle. Okay, it's all good. <clears throat> Today I'm fresher than the breeze, harder than the gym, stronger and hotter like the heat above the hundred degrees. Commander in chief, your all heat to more decrease. I wonder how you pagans overlook the pandemic with ten unique. I got the champion LV and the Nike, and many girls them like to ride. Pan me back, smash it up, hand the back. I love the taste of the cake, it's a bring home the case. Come and smell the cash. When we turn up the girl and wine and bend on. It's a cool breeze to lead it up till the dung. A danta has she spell it right at the dung. He make you lose yourself, stand up, don't sit down here. Today I feel the blessing on me. Way, 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 way. Dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. You can really sing. Uh. Yeah, like can sing. you master all that. Is it a song that you've already written or is it something that. You it's like a freestyle, it right? like uh, I just no no I do not come up with it right now, mm -hmm. but it's like a freestyle. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a day like I was just chill up and then I was like let me write something about this day and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it's not so, a song. Which was the first song that you like released? Yeah, there was a song uh, back in 2015, my first recording, mm -hmm. a song called Harmony. Harmony. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. a hip hop type of song. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So do you sing in Dinka, Kiswahili, English, Arabic? Dinka and English. Dinka and English, you mix them. Yeah. Huh? You know, you know, in our country, a hip hop, dancehall, R and B is something that is not really appreciated because you want something like Lord and uh, traditional songs. So yeah. how do you cope with that? You know, sometimes you have to pave way for yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The world is going forward. Mm -hmm. There are so many things happening. We have to blend with the world and stuff. Huh? Mm -hmm. So we cannot rely on the what people are thinking right now because we know in future, mm -hmm. like five years, three years, five years, ten years, everything will change. We have to be at the world level, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So sometimes we face a lot of ch challenges in terms of relatives, friends telling you no, you are not supposed to do this kind of thing. But we are looking ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So speaking of the future. Uh, what is your biggest, you know, your biggest mission as a South Sudanese artist? Yes, to do my part in the industry, mm -hmm. to leave a mark, mm -hmm. yeah, to achieve some something for my country. You know, when you represent your country, that's mm -hmm. the best feeling. So I want to do music to a level whereby I can be recognized by East Africa, Africa, or the world as a South Sudanese artist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, yes, sir. Well, let's go to the interesting part. Yeah. <coughs> juicy, juicy too. You release a song. Yeah. It's called Bamba. Bamba. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, but not rolling with the big boys. <laughs> Bamba is mine. <laughs> what was on your mind when you wrote that song? Okay, you know I went to South Sudan back in 2019, huh? Mm -hmm. After like over 10 years, so I went back and 
for me, I was curious to learn Arabic, man, you know. That's the national language, right, if I'm not wrong. So I was curious to know, yeah. And then I realized in Dubai, you know, the Arabic is not that, in the street, it's not that formal. Mm -hmm. They use this kind of, in Kenya, it's young, huh? mm -hmm. there, there's a way they call it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so and then I came across this word, uh, because I was like, you know, sometimes it's good, you can talk about a South Sudanese lady. Mm -hmm. But how are you going to, like, put it, huh? Mm -hmm. in, in, whereby somebody in South Sudan can relate. Mm -hmm. If they see a title, somebody who knows Arabic, mm -hmm. they can relate. Like Bamba is a girl. Mm. Yeah. It's not a Swahili the, word. It's not a Swahili word. Uh -huh. People were thinking of this. Mm -hmm. Things to do with hair time, mm -hmm. but it's not that way. Yeah, it's uh -huh. a girl. So I'm talking about an African it lady, a, a Sudanese lady. Yeah. Uh -huh. African beauty. Wow. So you are talking of Bamba, meaning a, South, meaning a girl, right? Yeah. And you are specifically talking about the South Sudanese girl. So why is it in the video that it's a, a Kenyan girl, yet you are talking about an Arabic word meaning Bamba, a girl? A girl who is supposed to be a Sassoonese. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, like, Sassoonese, like, uh, this culture and stuff, mm -hmm. they, they fear their relatives, like, what people will say about them. Because, like, in our community, when you do such things, they don't understand that it's like a job. You are being paid for that. Yeah, to cover your bills somewhere. Yeah, they just see you like a prostitute or something like that. Yeah, so many girls they they they, they don't they yeah they fear because of such stuff. Mm -hmm. Like we, we do post uh, before that we do post like we are doing a video. If you are a assassinated vixen, mm -hmm. just contact us. We need you in the video and stuff. They don't come out, but now on the street or somewhere they will ask you, mm -hmm. and they will tell you the reality of. Yeah, of things, you know. Yeah, and then, you know, we don't have problem with Kenyans. Mm -hmm. They are our brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. So we also want that kind of unity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so when they, they, they appear in our videos, mm -hmm. like, uh, they represent us, mm -hmm. right? Like some Kenyan lady who is in a video, she's going to, like, post my link. Mm -hmm. Like, my market will expand, expand you know. Africa. Yeah, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. So there's no problem with that. Okay, so you are uh, hot in Juba posted your video. How did you get them? Uh, no, no direct link. Yeah, yeah. No direct so link. Maybe like some you did not talk to them? Yeah, no, no. Mm -hmm. For sure. hundred percent I did not talk to them. Mm -hmm. So maybe some guy mm -hmm. who supports me. Mm -hmm. Because uh, some nigga mm -hmm. texted me on WhatsApp like, nigga, you have been posted here and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I went I saw. There's nothing big. <laughs> yeah. So, so, but they promoted your song. They really promoted it. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Yeah. They should be promoting all the artists. Modern artists, Finish. not this tradition every time, you know. You are going forward, man, not backward, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who is your biggest inspiration in music? So many people, even those who are not artists. Hey. You can inspire me even when you are not an artist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you do something good, like the way you have passion in what you do, you, you try to like, like the way you are interviewing me right now. Mm -hmm. There's some things I'm learning from you, right? Mm -hmm. There's a way you can inspire me. Yeah. So are you going to write a song about me? <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to pay for the expenses or everything? Like fees? Uh, uh, soon I told us I come a dedication and then I will feel. Hey. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> we'll talk about that. Um, okay, so what are some of the challenges you're facing as a South Sudanese artist trying to go into the world of hip hop and dance hall? Yeah, being a South Sudanese modern artist, mm -hmm. not just an artist, like we are trying to blend. It's uh, very hard, huh? Mm -hmm. I know, because. You, first it starts with your family, mm -hmm. you don't get that support like from your family members and stuff. And you know that one can cause like emotional whatever breakdown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so sometimes I started with that, mm -hmm. you know, in my family like some maybe were supporting me some mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And then again right now, as a general whatever in mm -hmm. South Sudan, our music is not hyped up. Mm -hmm. This kind of modern generals. Like hip hop dancer, they are not hyped up like the traditional songs and stuff right now currently, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that one, like you know, when you release a song, then like you don't sometimes maybe you don't get what you deserve. Mm -hmm. yeah, somebody can get discouraged, mm -hmm. but not me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know my time is coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, speaking of uh, not appreciating South Sudanese music, there is an artist in in Uganda. What's her name? This female artist. Do you remember her name? Which you mean? The one that did South Sudanese music. I saw a video, but I don't know as a musician. <laughs> yeah. So she she really did our music. 
and uh, what is your point of view on that? Okay, on the Disney, he said that um, our videos are funny. And, uh, hey, where? She was mocking us. She was mocking you guys, the artists of Sasu. And they were even laughing with the journalist. Mm. So, ever was that. So, what's your view on that? For me, I can say, like, don't cut off the hand that fits you. Why are you saying that? Yeah, many Ugandan artists they get the uh, they come and tell us. like most of them uh, mm -hmm. they, they get like uh, those big shows they can hold mm -hmm. are from South Sudan mm -hmm. where they're paid well, mm -hmm. they're treated well from South Sudan. You have been here in Kenya, right? You don't mm -hmm. find most of them coming here, mm -hmm. and these are an East African country, mm -hmm. and they don't come, right? So we give them market, mm -hmm. yeah, and they don't want to appreciate that. We can also cut them off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not a mouse like. You know, if somebody don't support you in whatever you're doing, mm -hmm. I don't see a point whereby you should like try to be close to that person and support. Mm -hmm. That's being ironical, right? Mm -hmm. It's not good, yeah. Wow. Hey, you could touch. You're feeling it? To the heart, man. <laughs> to the bones. I don't like it, man. You don't like it? Yeah. Okay, speaking of family, yeah. who is that one person in, in your family you feel like i appreciate this person that person has always been there for me sometimes i write music due to their presence in my life like family you know to me like family you mean like those who are born with me or you know families at large there's this family that has only friends and there's that family that you were born with and then there is the extended family Mm, okay, extend. Let's say, let me talk about extended family and family of friends also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, first of all, like my mom, mm -hmm. she don't like me when I dance with girls, and she feels bad. Mm -hmm. yeah, she's not my fan, like musically. Yeah, but let me say, like, uh, you know, I have uh, cousins. I have like sisters who support me. I have mm -hmm. like friends who are like brothers to me right now. Mm -hmm. Like they support me big time. Yeah, so they're, they're, they're like 10. I cannot just mention them, all of them. Yeah. <laughs> the like number. Eh? Mm. Okay, what do you have to say to your fans and young artists, young modern artists coming up in South Sudan? Yeah, well, nothing is easy. Nothing mm -hmm. at all. Like, face the reality of life, mm -hmm. not the community. Face the society the way it is and believe you're going to break the road. First of all, you should have passion for whatever you're doing mm -hmm. that's the number one thing and then you should like have a strong heart you know somebody can tell you like man i don't feel you you know somebody can write to you you know like nowadays there's that freedom of on social media right so somebody can write to you like you know man i don't feel your stuff and things like that you don't know who has sent that person if she or he means it mm -hmm. and you can get discouraged on the way so there's so many obstacles mm -hmm. but the point is like Keep pressing, keep pressing. Ah, oh, yeah. Social media handles? Ever Chris. Everywhere. Ever Chris everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Apart from Snapchat. <laughs> yeah, I'm not there. You're not on Snapchat? Yeah. Why? Let me, let me just not say it, but I'm not there. Private. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so that has been now uh, Chris with us, and we really appreciate. Um, you can follow him on Instagram, on Facebook, uh, on YouTube. You can check out his videos. They're nice, by the way, and they're entertaining. And um, yeah, support your dude. And it's me again, Gago Peters. We'll see you next time with a new topic. Straight up. <laughs>